Praise the Lord. Greetings to you all in the precious name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a privilege for me and my sister to share the Word of God with all of you people of God in different places. Here with me, Sister Diana. Who interpret the word of God to meeting? So this is my request to all of you, my friends and my brothers and sister in the Lord. Listen carefully to the word of God. And if you give place for the word of God, the word of God will change and mold your life. So the topic that I want to share with you is about repentance. So before we begin our uh, sharing of from the Word of God, shall we all bow our heads in prayer? <clears throat> Father God, I thank you so much for this wonderful moment. Such a blessed time, Father, to share the word, uh, to share your word of God with all your people around the places. And thank you, Jesus, for the word. And with this word of God, I believe you will change and transform of many lives of God as they listen to your word and heal many lives who need healings. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The message that I want to share with you is about repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is about the change, the way of life. And also repentance is about changing the way that you need to move in the directions. So, uh, altogether, repentance is about changing your life, changing your mind, changing the path of your journey. In the Old Testament times, many times God will say to the people of Israel, when they, whenever they turn away from Him, God will say to them, Return back to me or repent from your sin. Remember one day God spoke through Prophet Jonah. God said to Jonah, Go and share my word with the people of the city of Nineveh. Because these people they have committed sin against God. And then God said, if they do not repent from their sin, God will burn that city with fire. Uh, and the Bible says that the people of Nineveh, after they heard the warning from Prophet Jonah, they repent from their sin and they turn their eyes to God and reconcile with God. Uh, and then God, God removed his anger against this city. Why people need to repent? The reason the people need to repent from their sin is because sin will bring the judgment of God in their life. Uh, sin 
will bring judgment of God. Sins will bring the wrath of God. God loved the sinner. But he hates sin. So, in order to uh, in order for the sinner to reconcile with God, the sinner need to repent from his sin. In the New Testament era, the man who preach about repentance. Uh, was known as John the Baptist. John the Baptist also was known as the forerunners or the one who prepared the way for Jesus Christ. So John the Baptist, he preached the kingdom of God ahead of the coming of Jesus Christ. John the Baptist na ishwagi ning thole ba adu Jesus la chunge mama na mama lambi same na wagi na magta same sarba nupa adu. The Bible says that John the Baptist went to the river Jordan and start preaching in all that places. Bible na hai akoi na John the Baptist na Jordan gitura na chala ga maha na Jesus la kani hai bi maranda ma na. Let us read from the Gospel of Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. This is the time that John the Baptist stood by the river and preached to the multitude who came to listen to him. John the Baptist na man Jordan to render lep laga mayam mang da wahi hairam basing adu. In verse seven he said, then said he to the multitudes that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Pat da tareta asun ay dun lai mangon da baptized law law na ba lep mayam adu na Jonah Jonah na ay ki he jihudi singi macha la this time John the Baptist is preaching to the generation of the people who were the sinners. And he also warned the people of uh, the people of the time that if they do not Repent, behold, the wrath of God will come against them. So he called the people to repent from their sin. And he said, O generation of vipers. That means, O people of sin. The people who live in sin. The people who walk with sin. So they live with sin and walk with sin. And they are going to die with sin. The Bible says that the wages of sin is dead. So John the, Baptist, John the Baptist, he warned the people, if they do not repent from their sin, if they do not leave their sin, then the wrath of God will come into the life. What is sin? Sin is the acts against God. And whoever lives with sin and walk with sin, they have to meet or face the wrath of God. So anyone who wants to escape from the wrath of God or from the judgment of God, they have to repent from their sin. Among the Christians today, there were many Christians who were born as a Christian. Or there were many of them, they were born through the 
Christian uh, through the Christian parents. Born in the Christian family. That is not enough for you to make a full Christian in God. So born in a Christian family does not mean that you are the righteous people. Because the Bible says that man or woman, they will all live with sin, walk with sin, conceive with sin, and the time when the mother give birth, that also she give birth out of the womb of sin. For that reason, people need to repent. You know, this time John the Baptist, when he talked about repentance, John the Baptist, na matamasida kuni homi maram da hairami. John the Baptist talk about the fruit of repentance. Mang na hairbe actually kuni homi bagi mahay singa dunay. That means a person who is not repented. Hairbe di kari gumami adun na kuni homi da batar gadi. Is a person who bear the fruits of sin. Adu tar gadi mahap pap ki mahay adu pang dunay. It does not. It does not matter whether you are a Christian or non-Christians. If you are not yet repentant, that means you are still with sin and you are still a sinner. So as a sinner, people will bring forth the fruit of sin. What is the fruit of sin? The fruit of sin is the evil deeds, the evil words, the evil thoughts and the evil kind of life that the people live. And what is that fruit of repentance? The fruit of repentance is the fruits of righteousness. That means before you do not know about love, now you start learning love. Before you do not know about forgiveness, now you learn about forgiveness. Before you are a selfish person, now you began, now you start to be kind. Before you don't have that passion for God, now you start to, to have that passion for God. You know, the, in the fruit of uh, in the fruit of repentance, you know, the fruit of repentance, you know, will bring the change of life. It will change the way you think. It will change the way you talk. It will change the way you walk. It will change the way you live. But the, per the person who are not yet repent, that person you will not see any change in him. He will, save, he will live the same kind of life that he lived before. That's why John the Baptist he preached to the people of Israel that they need to repent and that repentance needs to bear the fruit. Praise the Lord. So John the Baptist, when he preached about repentance, he also preached about baptism. Why he preached about baptism? Baptism is a symbol 
to bury the old kind of life. Baptism have us here when I live upon see a door comes in give a doggy more and also it talk about the new life in Christ. A doga when a Christa that I know upon see him but though a doggy man and so high. So people need to repent from their sin. I do not me or even sing the magi pap. I do the give only home. Bear the fruit of repentance. A doga a puning home by give a high edu from a matho tie and change the 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 kind of life. From the life of evil into the life of good. From the life that stand against God to the life that pleasing God. So many Christian in these days. They don't have the life that pleasing God. Many Christian today. They do not speak the word that God wants them to speak. And many Christians today, the way they think, the way that they think, you know, is not the way that God wants for them. The way they dress, they are not dressing according to the way of God, to the lifestyle of God. So that's why many Christians they need to repent. Among the Christians there are so many, uh, there are so many bitterness, so many fight and a lot of bitterness that uh, that live in their hearts. This is the call for repentance. Many Christian family, you know, they fight with one another, they hate one another, they they do not forgive one another. That's why even though they are Christians, but their life is uh, their life is not the life that God wants them to live. So they need to reconcile with God. They need to turn to God. They need to call on the name of God and they need to change their way of life. If they do not change the way of life, the, the wrath of God will come on your life. So this is the call for you brothers and sisters in the Lord. You need to repent. You need to repent. And reconcile with God. And then after repentance. You know you can move to another level. To another step. And that is to be born again. So what is the difference between repentance and the second birth? You want to know about what is repentance and what is second birth? You have heard about repentance. Repentance means to change. To turn. To turn from the old way into a new way. And also uh, good repentance means to bear good fruits. But to take you to heaven, you need to be born again. So if you want to know about born again, you need to listen to another part of our teachings. But as of now, I invite every everyone, brothers and sisters in the Lord, those who still live with sin and walk in sin, those 
whose life has not been changed and transformed. I call every one of you to come and repent. Because when you do not repent, God God's wrath will fall on you. But if you repent, God will take you to another level of life. To experience the second birth in Christ. But before we go to the second birth, let us all pray together first. And if you want to repent from your sin, you follow this prayer after me. I believe when you pray this prayer, God will listen to you and you will experience a new life and you can bear the fruit of the the fruit of repentance say this prayer with me father God who art in heaven I come before you and I Ask for your forgiveness. I now ask for your forgiveness. Dear God, Dear God come, into my heart come into my heart and live with me. Live with me. Dear, God, Dear God, I repent from my sin, from my sin and, I and I reconcile with you. Accept me as I am. Me as I am. Receive, me, Receive me, O Lord. Make me to be your child again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Please, you follow in Manipuri. If I sure, now we am Tagache, now can I form the Natal Premium Ting directly, I will give Pap to give Hana Lot of you, I do a Mokana, I will not give Natani Hana Lot of you, I will not give Pia Kadaki Makasinjay, but we should be singing music. God bless you.